Hi everyone! For the last couple of months I've been living in Sweden, and not until the last road trip I realized how little I know about Swedish traditional food. So in today's video we're gonna explore Gothenburg in order to change that. And hopefully we can manage to keep it low cost. Uh, let's go! I've been asking around Swedish people about their traditional dishes and 9 out of 10 agreed that probably the most known one is the Swedish meatballs. They are overly popular as well because of IKEA, which serves them in almost every restaurant all around the world. I've done some research and apparently Smaka serves one of the best meatballs in town in a very affordable price. And for this video, my favorite Swedish person, Luisa, is joining to be the judge of the food. Butter. Most typical beer in Gothenburg. Ooh la la. So here we go guys. Three little selections of Swedish starters mm -hmm. or the Swedish food in general. Over here, start from the left, from my left right here. Got a little toast with uh, the famous Karlix Bleak Rope. Uh, the bleak grow comes from the, uh, the north of Sweden, from the deep cold seas of Norland. That's why it's gotten so famous, because it stands all the year around. In the middle here, probably the most common starter you find in Sweden, at every wedding or proms or anything. Called Toskagen, shrimps, a lot of mayonnaise, a lot of dill. And here, for my favorite at least, we've got the herring. This is the matcha herring, probably the most uh, commonly used one. Um, together with some uh, potatoes and sour cream right there. Herring in Sweden you eat during a lot of holidays like Christmas, Midsummer. And together with this, to make it uh, the best experience, you gotta have the Upi Andersson Aqualet. And then you take a sip. signature dish here at the uh, Smokka restaurant in Gothenburg. Yeah. Uh, we've been using the same recipe since the start in 1994. And this is pretty much Sweden on a plate for somebody. And together with that you have what you call here preskurka. It's, uh, I'm not sure how to say that. Yeah, I have no pickles, sort of like yeah. pickles. Swedish pickles. Yeah, pickles. And lingonberries from the woods outside of Gothenburg right there. Alright. <laughs> Skål! Very well, Manuel. I think they are amazing. I think it would be described as a coffee break, but in Sweden it means so much more than that. It means like taking time uh, to spend with your friend and have a coffee and something sweet. And uh, even though like sometimes they are described as uh, a little bit antisocial, they love their fika and to spend time with people. Oh my god, I love fika. We are going to change restaurant now and we're gonna try another Swedish dish that is called Wallenbergade. Wallenbergade is a Swedish patty made of ground veal mixed with egg yolks and the cream and then you roll it on breadcrumbs. This recipe can also be made with cod instead of veal and that's what we're gonna try. <laughs> so 
So unfortunately, they did not have the Valen Barriera, um, but we're gonna have a seafood platter with all of the treasures of the sea. Yes, uh, please, uh, yes, bye-bye, uh, good night there, you know. So we don't have any more money, so no more food for this trip. <laughs> food has been great, night's been great, but Sweden is a little bit expensive. If you like this kind of videos, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe and uh, follow us on the next one. <laughs> most typical beer in Gothenburg. Most typical beer in Gothenburg. Most typical beer in Gothenburg. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Hej, tunt och gubbar, slår i glasen och låter så lustiga vara.